It's Rob Knight from GoMo News. It's Friday, it's the last day of CTIA, and I'm here at Alcatel Lucent with some very cool technology that I'm really excited about. Who are you, sir? I'm Roberto Quintana from uh, Alcatel Lucent, and I'm going to be demonstrating here uh, what we call the uh, GeoPepper, uh, which is part of our uh, geographic based mm -hmm. um, solution. So it's uh, some really cool technology. Uh, location base and one of the things that we've been trying to do is uh, work with our operators and service providers to help them monetize location information. Fantastic. Uh, so I'll walk yep. you through uh, uh, what we have today on the internet yep. and Fantastic. anybody can basically go to geopepper.com and, and start. And are the clients at the moment just for the BlackBerry isn't it? So, so far so, so far we have a client uh, which is uh, on the, running on the BlackBerrys. Uh, obviously if you have autonomous GPS type handsets yep. it would be wonderful because um, that's one of the great ways but we're not totally yep. dependent on that. There's, there's a set of other handsets that we're going to be uh, launching uh, support for this year and yeah. at the beginning of next year as well. I think so. this is a really cool technology, really cool. So, what you see here obviously is uh, the, the web portal that we uh, expose to our uh, the subscribers. Uh, as I mentioned, this is something that, that is available to anybody that can go on the internet to right. pepper.com and then just start creating their social community. Okay. Um, one of the things that, that as you get into the, uh, the solution on, on, the, on the client, on the web, um, you immediately see, you know, recent updates for all the channels or groups, the yeah. social groups that you belong to. Also, you could see a lot of the contacts that are part of your either colleagues yeah. or social communities, um, as well as you could see uh, statistics on, on the type of messages that you've been getting, okay. uh, type of proximity marketing alerts that you've been getting as well. And then. Um, you also get a view on the map of all the locations where you've been into. So the system helps provide information to track you, um, you know, where you are and then where your friends may, uh, may be. Right. So this is, this is really cool because as part of social communities, you can, you know, you can keep track of people, um, of your close friends. Obviously, the subscribers have the, the ability Option to, to decide <laughs> when what they, information and when they want And you can be. also say what time as well you want to be available if I remember right. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you can determine a lot of that. The other, the other cool thing is that you could text uh, messages to a specific location. We provide here some of the numbers what you could do and this is a way for you to um, join specific marketing campaigns, right. specific alerts and then you start getting text messages. Uh, some examples that we've been doing, uh, we've been uh, testing this with uh, uh, professional basketball teams and teams, uh, soccer teams in, in the states where uh, people as they come in into the venue they can you know, send a text message and then mm -hmm. they start getting uh, real cool information, information about uh, discounts or mm -hmm. next set of games, uh, uh, some commercial data as well. So this is, it gives a lot of flexibility. Um, obviously, uh, you know, you, you, as I mentioned earlier, you can manage your contacts, right? So this gives you a view of the people that you're yeah. socially you're engaged certain, with. Yeah. Um, you and can, you can pull in from Facebook and yes, from MySpace. And yeah, you can actually invite people uh, from LinkedIn, LinkedIn Yahoo, Yahoo, Gmail, Hotmail, or, or, by or by email, email yeah. you know, whatever the corporate email or personal email address are. So you can actually see, you know, you can yeah. stretch out your social community and colleagues as well. One of the things that we're also trying to do is just to try to extend some of this information to applications such as Facebook, as, yeah. as you mentioned, so that way you leverage the social community you already had because those, those have been yes. really successful applications, right? Yeah. Today many people use. And then sort of provide more of a location-based information to those and have yeah. widgets that could yeah. be cool. poured over to that so that people can, can mm -hmm. keep track of uh, yeah. other colleagues yeah. and friends. And friends yeah. 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 So um, a lot of the other things is um, <clears throat> you, could, you could keep track of uh, the messages that you have left for your friends or people have left you know, for you. So one of the things that it does is, again, this, this shows you um, the channels that you belong to, the map's still loading a little bit here, but these are the channels that me, you know, I belong to different uh, groups yep. that I can get information from. And as you can see in the map, those are messages that people have left for me. And then it shows um, where some of my contacts have uh, left information. Hey, you know, next time you're here, try this restaurant. Okay. Or uh, I'm going to be here, you know, this week for yeah. business. So, so a bit like the whole Twitter thing, the whole Facebook the whole thing, Twitter, you know, where you are, my status. Yeah, you know, where you are, yeah. And then we're managing that 
service for the operators and the providers right. and ma maximizing you know, the location information. As I mean. And I understand that the geofencing can also, instead of just being fixed, it's, it's movable. Yes, that's one of the, 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 the neat things about the technology. Um, we, when you look at the technology you have, so you, you could have static fences and then you have moving fences. Yeah. So one of the things that the solution does is that one message is sent to you, it'll manage um, accordingly, you know, how many times that message needs to be resent to you. And as you move around the geofence that is established, um, it knows when to send you the messages okay. and when to send you reminders or when it is appropriate to send you a new yeah. set of information. Okay, and it also knows whether you've got a message or not before and yes. so you don't repeat yourself. Brilliant. Yeah. Excellent. So that's, uh, and then this is um, a view of uh, the locations also where I've been, you know, over the last 24, uh, 48 <laughs> hours. So I've been all over. You've been all <laughs> over the place. See, we're here in California today. Obviously, my client uh, in my handset is, is the one that it's, you know, yeah. allowing to provide some of that information. And, uh, but it, it's kind of neat because it just shows you uh, where, where, where you've been moving. Yeah. Uh, all that. You can zoom in, you know, into a lot of this and then just move around, right? Cool. And then look at, at the different locations. Uh, uh, where you've been. So as you can see, it, it provides you yeah. some of the specific lab long uh, type information um, and uh, the date and the time uh, of that. Right. Also, um, you know, you set your own profile uh, or if you sign up for a service like this, your service provider, when you sign up, will set a profile of preferences, right? So it depends on um, the gender, you know, mm -hmm. demographic information that I provide, the things that I like and dislike these marketing campaigns basically could be pushed to me based yeah. on my preferences. So the system and the service also uh, mm -hmm. filters a lot of the information right. for you. I can just see it's been so, we were talking before, and uh, you know, you get your barcode off your airplane, and you know, you don't want to have to then print it out. You know, if you've got it on your phone, use it, you know, and you can, if you can tie this into all those other, like you said, talk to barcode companies, and it's just so exciting. Yeah, and there's, uh, you will see a lot of that trend as we were talking earlier. Um, this. A lot of the handsets and a lot of the clients on some of these handsets are moving towards the technology where it's, it's going to allow you to, um, based on your location and proximity, not only you get the important information, right, but also you can get the discounts and then electronically have in your client running these coupons yeah. that when you go to shopping or something, uh, you could actually yeah. just from your handset uh, yeah. get the discount. So Brilliant. it's it's uh, location based and also yeah. gives you a lot of flexibility as a user. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much for taking the right. time to see us. Thank you.